Hey, what's up guys? My name is Kale Brock. I'm a filmmaker and a surfer. This is my van, but today I want to talk to you about five really helpful pop-up exercises that you can do at home. If you're new here, my name is Kale, I'm a surfer and a filmmaker, and here you'll find all sorts of epic surf content like tutorials to help you surf better, important reviews and more. So subscribe down below and join me on Instagram at Kale's Broccoli. Our first exercise is the push up with knee and foot tuck. This is a great one to rewire the musculature and nervous system for those surfers who constantly pop up to their knees before actually standing on their board. Now, to start off with, I wanna see some good back integrity here, nice and straight. And the key movement is this tuck of the knee under the body using the same foot you bring forward on the surfboard, left for natural footers, right for goofy, and hovering that foot at almost a 45 degree angle off the floor or just aiming for the knee to touch the opposite elbow. Now, so importantly, I actually want to see the shoulder girdle begin to move at an angle during the movement as this is an important part of the pop-up. Make sure you balance all this out by doing the opposite leg a little as well. Now we can actually increase the difficulty of that same movement by adding in a dynamic surface, the gymnastics rings. This is more similar to an actual pop-up because it gives us more space under the body, which occurs as the board falls down the wave when we catch it. For this one, try softly planting the foot, or even just the front of the foot, at a 45 degree angle under you. And again, try to throw in a couple of opposite legs to balance things out, but do try to finish off the exercise with your natural surf stance in mind. This next one is really nice because it instills a sense of remaining low after the pop-up has taken place for surfers. Many surfers I see pop up too tall and lose balance very quickly. It is important to remember that the takeoff is a transition from low to slightly less low and on your feet. Imagine here after you bring the leg through that you're drawing back an arrow to encourage great body integrity and appropriate arm and eye line. I really like jackknives because they create a nice stable hip structure and help us to create more space beneath the body for our pop-up. Importantly on this one, I don't want you to swing the legs so far that you lose that nice curvature in the lower back. To increase the difficulty of this exercise, try doing it one leg at a time with particular emphasis on the leg you'd normally swing through when surfing. And finally, this is a nice entry level one, downward dog transitions. This is great for those who are really struggling with pop-up mobility, just to calm the system down, open up the hips a bit and to strengthen the arms. It's not quite a direct crossover to surfing's pop-up, but it does help loosen the body up and find some comfort in swinging the lower body under you. Well, I hope that one helped you out, guys. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and join me on Instagram at Kale's Broccoli. We've got plenty more awesome content both here and also in the extra resources below. Thanks so much for tuning in. Yo, see you soon.